Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the character mesh in Survival Game Kit V2. You can only follow along with this video if your character uses the UE5 mannequin skeleton. If your character doesn't use that skeleton, there'll be a video linked in the description that you can follow instead. This video is for Unreal Engine 5 versions of Survival Game Kit V2. If you're using Unreal Engine 4, there will be a guide linked in the description below that you can follow. So to get started, you'll need your new character mesh and skeleton. So for me, that's in this folder. And you can make sure that you're using the UE5 skeleton by opening up your character skeleton and make sure that its bone names and structures match uh, mine here on the screen now. You can also compare it to the Unreal 5 mannequin skeleton as well. So once you're sure you are using a character with the Unreal 5 skeleton, we're gonna close this out and we're gonna select our character's mesh Right click it, go to skeleton and assign skeleton and we're going to search for sk underscore mannequin. You can see I've got my one here. Make sure when you hover over it, it says that the path says game, survival game kit v2, meshes and then skeletal. That way you know you're selecting the correct skeleton. Select accept. And now our new character mesh is using the skeleton from survival game kit v2. Next we're going to go to the sgk master character. So we'll just search that and open that up. And in here, we're just gonna double click a component to open up our viewport. Then we're gonna select our mesh component. And over here, we're gonna set our skeletal mesh asset. So for me, that would be called uh, primitive. You would use your character. Then we'll do the same thing for first person body. Set that to your character's mesh as well, like that. Now you can see our mesh is already playing our animations. If your character starts to distort or just remains in T-pose, then your character probably isn't using the UE5 skeleton, in which case you'll need to follow the video in the description. Next, we need to set our character's arms mesh. Now, if your character didn't come with separate arms, we're gonna need to cut out the body from the arms that we can use for our first person arms. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can export your mesh to a 3D modeling program cut the mesh out there and then re-import it into Unreal Engine. Or if you're using 5.4, there's a new skeletal mesh editing tool that we're gonna use. So to enable that, we'll go to Edit, Plugins, we're gonna search for Skeletal, and we're gonna enable Skeletal Mesh Editing Tools. Tick that on, and then we're gonna restart and this will reopen our project. Don't forget to save our changes as well. So once we're back in the editor, we're gonna create a duplicate of our character mesh. So I'm just gonna drag this, drop it, and do copy here. Then we'll open that up. I'll just bring that over here. Then if you don't already have them open, you can click the editing tools option here. Then we're gonna to go to the edit skin weights, generate polygroups. Now there's a couple of options that we can use here. Um, we can either use face normal deviation, which is what we're seeing now, or you can change this to from UV islands. Now that will work for some characters where you see I've got this nice clean line around my arms and we can use that to basically just highlight and delete these sections of the character. Um, but some characters this won't work for. So um, if yours doesn't have these nice lines along the arms, you can just change this back to the defaults and hit accept. If yours does, then you can just hit accept with that option selected. So I'm gonna change mine back to this just to show you guys. We'll hit accept. Then we're gonna to go to shape modeling, edit polygroup. And in here, we're gonna make sure that you have this option unselected. So your selection filters should look like this. Then we're gonna start dragging and deleting these faces. So hit delete faces. And we're just gonna start dragging and trying to cut our arms out. So that looks good. Just gonna hit delete faces. You can see that now I've got my arms cut out. Don't worry if your edges are a little bit messy. Um, you can spend more time cleaning these up, but for me, this will do. So I'm just gonna hit accept. And now we've got our character's arms. Now, if you're using an older version of Unreal Engine, you may not have access to these editing tools. Um, you would have to export your character mesh to a 3D modeling program like uh, Blender or Maya, uh, cut out the character's mesh there, then re-import it into your project. And when you do re-import it, make sure that you select the skeleton to be the SK mannequin from the Survival Game Kit project. So now that we have our arms, we can just hit save and we can close this out. We'll head back to the SGK master character and open that up. And in here, we'll just double click any of the components, go to the viewport. We'll select the first person arms 
we're going to change this to our arm smash that we just created. So for me, that's going to be this one. And we'll compile. So now we're ready to test this out. We can hit play and you should see your character. We can play all of the different animations, pick up a weapon. And in here, we can see our character's animations are working correctly with our new mesh. We can go into first person and check the view there as well. Make sure our arms are working. Now, depending on your character's proportions, you may need to adjust a few things. Um, so for example, if we have a weapon on our back, for example, um, you may want to adjust that position. So to do that, you can do Shift F1 to get your mouse out of the game. We can go to SK underscore mannequin, open that up. And in here, we can uh, move our different sockets that are used for our holdables to attach to our character. So um, under, say, hand underscore R, you can see we've got all of the sockets that control where our weapon attaches to on our character's hand. So you can come in here and adjust these if you need to. There's sockets for all of the different holdables. Then moving down to um, the spine bone, let's try and find it, just collapse these. You can see we've got spine five. Um, oh, there we go. Primary socket and we've got secondary socket. These control where our weapons go on our character's back. So with the secondary socket, you can see if I start moving this, it actually moves our shotgun on our player's back. So you can use these to adjust them. I'll also have guides linked in the description below on how you can change your character's animations and also how to edit the hand IKs for the weapons. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.